Namaste and good morning to you all and also welcome to today's mathematics class and before start watching this video please make sure that you are having mathematics textbook and notebook with you if not please pause the video and get it textbook and notebook with you we have already completed some methods of solving linear equations in two variables that is substitution method and elimination method and we have practiced many questions and we also learned that the nature of the graphs by verifying the ratio of the coefficients of variables x and y let us have a quick recall on what we have learned a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 means we will get an intersecting lines and intersecting lines will be almost like this and the system will have unique solution and next we have learned a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2 then we will be having coincident lines and it will be coincident lines look looks like this and the system will have infinitely many solution and the next is if a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2 then the system will have parallel lines and it looks graph looks like this and there will be no solution for this type of equations now we will be going for a new method today that is cross multiplication method and it is one of the easiest method of solving system of linear equations the formula is here we we have to by heart the ratio that is x divided by b1 c2 minus b2 c1 equal to y divided by c1 a2 minus c2 a1 equal to 1 divided by a1 b2 minus a2 b1 this one either we have to by heart or we have to follow your diagram the diagram goes like this first we have to write x y and 1 then the coefficients we have to write first b1 and b2 second we have to go c1 and c2 third we have to write a1 and a2 and finally we have to go with b1 and b2 once again we will start with b1 b2 c1 c2 a1 a2 b1 b2 then we have to go for cross multiplying these coefficients first one will go with b1 to c2 next b2 to c1 that is what it is written here b1 c2 minus b2 c1 for getting the second denominator what we have to do that we have to cross c1 a2 then we have to minus it with c2 a1 next we have to go with a1 b2 plus a2 b1 so either we have to draw this diagram and from this diagram we have to derive this equation and that will be i think that will be the best way to recall this formula so please make sure that you are by hearting or you are drawing the diagram from the diagram you are deriving any one option you can take and write the correct formula next we will be solving the first question from the exercise the first question goes that which of the following pairs of linear equation has unique solution or infinitely many solution in case there is an unique solution find it by using cross multiplication method first of all we have to identify the nature of solution then if it is having a unique solution then only we have to go for cross multiplication method and find out the value of the variables there are questions four questions are given to you first one second one sorry first one second one third one and fourth one and here first question is given 
x minus 3y minus 3 equal to 0 and 3x minus 9y minus 2 equal to 0. First of all, we have to go with a1 by a2. Here you see a1 coefficient of x that is 1 and here a2 coefficient of x here that is 3 that is written here a1 by a2 1 by 3. Next we will go for b1. b1 coefficient of y here that is minus 3 then coefficient of y here that is minus 9 that is written that is final answer 1 by 3. Then next we will go for c1 by c2. So here c1 constant term that is here minus 3 and here it is minus 2. When you take the ratio you will get 3 by 2. When you compare a1 by a2, b1 by b2, c1 by c2, we have come to the conclusion that a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2. So this carries this system of equations are having parallel lines and they will not intersect each other unless they intersect each other we are not going to get a solution so therefore we are not going to get a unique solution therefore the system is having no solution so that is the answer for this question means here it is since there is no solution we no need to go for cross multiplication and we no need to calculate the uh, what you call since there is no answer we no need to calculate the solution now move, on. now move on to the second question that is 2x plus y equal to 5 and 3x plus 2y is equal to 8. First we have to go for a1 by a2 that is a1 is 2 and a2 is 3 and next we have to go for b1 by b2 that is b1 is 1 here and b2 is 2 that is 1 by 2 then c1 by c2 that is here 5 we have to take to the left side that is minus 5 and here it is minus 8 minus 5 by minus 8 we have to compare a1 by a2 b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 here you can see we have we can come to the conclusion that a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 since a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 the equation will have a unique solution since there is an unique solution we have a chance to apply the cross multiplication method we have to use the formula x divided by b1 c2 minus b2 c1 equal to y divided by c1 a2 minus c2 a1 equal to 1 divided by a1 b2 minus a2 b1 after writing the formula we have to substitute x divided by b1 into c2 b1 is 1 c2 is minus 8 1 into minus 8 that is minus 8 b2 c1 b2 is 2 c1 is minus 5 that is minus 10 2 into minus 5 minus 10 next c1 a2 c1 a2 is c1 is here minus 5 a2 is 3 that is minus 5 into 3 minus 15 next c2 a1 c2 a1 is here minus 8 into 2 that is minus 16 then a1 b2 a1 b2 means here 2 into 2 that is 4 then a2 b1 a2 b1 is 3 into 1 that is 3 then after doing the calculation it is x divided by minus into minus that is plus 10 here minus into minus that is plus 16 then 4 minus 3 is 1 then come to the conclusion x divided by minus 8 plus 10 is 2 y divided by minus 15 plus 16 is 1 here and 1 divided by 1 is 1 finally we have got x is equal to 2 into 1 and y is equal to 1 Now move on to the third question that is given x 3x minus 5y equal to 20 and 6x minus 10y equal to 40. As before we have to go for a1 by a2 that is 3 by 6 that is 3 by 6 when you cancel it by 3 we will get 1 by 2. The next we will go for b1 by b2 that is b1 is minus 5 and b2 is minus 10 when you cancel by using 5 we will get it as 1 by 2 and next is c1 by c2 when you take c1 is 20 divided by 40 the previous question we have taken here or else just keep same as it is just divide it 20 divided by 40 that is when you cancel it by 20 it is 1 divided by 2. When you compare a1 by a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2, it is all are equal. So a1 by a2, b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2, then we will come to the conclusion the system has coincident lines. Both the lines are coinciding. So the conclusion is the equation has infinitely many solutions. Since the equation has infinitely many solutions, we 
no need to calculate the solutions now come to the fourth question that is given x minus 3y minus 7 is equal to 0 and 3x minus y minus 15 equal to 0 as before we have to calculate a1 by a2 b1 by b2 c1 by c2 and come to the conclusion then if unique solutions are there then you have to find out the solution so that you will do it yourself now move on to the next question for which values of a and b does the following pair of linear equations have infinite number of solutions this is little bit important question and we have to check for the solution the given equations are 2x plus 3y equal to 7 and a minus b into x plus a plus b into y equal to 3a plus b minus 2 for solving first we have to write the equation again 2x plus 3y equal to 7 and second equation as it is a1 by a2 we have to write a1 by a2 that is 2 divided by a minus b next b1 by b2 that is 3 divided by a plus b next c1 by c2 that is 7 divided by of course we can take this side that is minus 7 divided by minus 3 into a plus b minus 2 even if you don't put minus it is fine no problem then for infinitely many solutions we have to write the condition that is a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2 substitute the values a1 that is 2 by a minus b and the next is second part b1 by b2 is 3 by a plus b third part c1 by c2 is 7 divided by 3a plus b minus 2 now first two we have to take together these two that is 2 divided by a minus b equal to 3 divided by a plus b let's cross multiply it that is 2 into a plus b then here it is 3 into a minus b then remove the bracket that is 2 into a 2a then 2 into b 2b 3 into a 3a 3 into b 3b next bring all the terms to the left side that is 3a minus 2a minus 3b minus 2b equal to 0 and we will get a minus 5b equal to 0 just keep it as an equation now second we have to take these two together that is 3 by a plus b and 7 divided by 3a plus b minus 2 together when you take when you cross multiply you will get it 3 into 3a plus b minus 2 this one and the next e that will be equal to 7 into a plus b remove the bracket 3 into 3 9a 3 into b 3b 3 into 2 6 7 into a 7a 7 into b 7b now bring all terms to the like terms to the left side 9a minus 7a plus 3b minus 7b equal to 6 come to the conclusion 2a minus 4b equal to 6 when you cancel it to you will get a minus 2b equal to 3 so here we have two equations a minus 5b equal to 0 and a minus 2b equal to 3 just to solve it so when you take a minus 5b equal to 0 and a minus 2b equal to 3 two terms are here a and a when you uh, subtract these two will be eliminated and you will get it as minus 5b minus into minus plus 2b minus 5 plus 2 that is minus 3b and 0 minus 3 that is minus 3 so b will be minus 3 by minus 3 that is equal to 1 substitute that values into a minus 5b equal to 0 so a minus 5 into b value is 1 just a substitute here that equal to 0 then a will be equal to 5 so we have got the answer b is equal to 1 and a conclusion now move on to the next question that is condition is given to you for no solution that is a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal not equal to c1 by c2 then a1 by a2 we have to take that is 3 divided by 2k minus 1 and b1 by b2 when you take that is 1 divided by k minus 1 not equal to c1 by c2 that is minus 1 divided by minus if you take minus common here outside that is minus of 2k minus 1 minus minus cancelled that is 2k plus 1 will be getting as before you have to take two uh, nearby terms together that is when you, after taking these two together just cross multiply it 3 into k minus 1 that is here 1 into 2k minus 1 that is here when you remove the bracket that is 3 into k that is 3k then 
3 into minus 1 that is minus 3 equal to 2k minus 1 and when you come here 3k 2k come to the left side that is 3k minus 2k is k this will come this side that is minus 1 plus 3 minus 1 plus 3 is 2 next we come this side that is these two we have to take together that is 1 divided by k minus 1 not equal to 1 divided by 2k plus 1 as before cross multiply it 1 into 2k plus 1 that is here 2k plus 1 not equal to 1 into k minus 1 that is k minus 1 bring like terms together 2k minus k k this side coming time it is minus 2k minus k is k this will go to the right side that is minus 1 this plus 1 goes to the right side it is minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 that is minus 2 so the solution so the values of k are k equal to 2 or k not equal to minus 2 move on to the next question solve the following pair of linear equations by substitution and cross multiplication methods substitution method also we have to use cross multiplication also we have to use the equation is 8x plus 5y equal to 9 3x plus 2y equal to 4 just to take it as 1 and 2 8x plus 5y equal to 9 is equation number 1 we have taken 3x plus 2y equal to 4 equation number 2 we have to take then from equation number 2 just to take from here x we have to take x we have to take in the sense 2y we have to bring to the right side that becomes 4 minus 2y this x is having a coefficient 3 here you have to divide with a 3 that is 4 minus 2y by 3 next substituting 3 in equation number 1 we have to take this 3 in equation number 1 3 is here equation number 1 when you substitute here it is 8 into x 8 into it is written here the value of x will be replaced 4 into 34 minus 2y by 3 and plus 5y 5y remains the same that is equal to 9 that also remains same so what we have done is we have to take we have taken this equation and we replace x and we substitute the value of x from here just calculation part since the denominator is 3 here we have to eliminate the denominator multiply 3 everywhere here here and here so just to multiply 3 on the first term second term and third term and here when you multiply this 3 and this 3 will be cancelled and 8 into 4 that is 32 8 into 2 that is 16 this 3 cancelled and 5 into 3 15 and 9 into 3 27 and from here after calculation we will get minus y equal to minus 5 and next both the side minus minus cancelled y equal to 5 using this value in equation number 2 we have got already one variable value y is equal to 5 we have to substitute that one into equation number 2 here it is 2 so when you substitute 3x remains same 2 into y that is 2 into y value is 5 that is 2 into 5 that is 10 equal to 4 that is 3x this 10 goes to the right side 4 minus 10 the next x will be 4 minus 10 is minus 6 this 3 coming to the denominator that is x is equal to minus 2 so here the solution is x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to 5 now we move on to the next method that is cross multiplication method the question is 8x plus 5y minus 9 equal to 0, 3x plus 2y minus 4 equal to 0. First of all, we have to write the formula x divided by b1c2 minus b2c1 equal to y divided by c1a2 minus c2a1 equal to 1 divided by a1b2 minus a2b1. Just I have calculated here together the calculation. If you feel difficulty, just to substitute a1, b1, c1 and a2 b2 c2 separately and calculate you can elaborate it it's not a problem i have used here the shortcut so b1 c2 b1 c2 i have written here after multiplication it is minus 20 so b1 is here 5 c2 is minus 4 when you multiply 5 into minus 4 that is minus 20 next is b2 c1 is here that is minus 18 b2 c1 b2 is 2 that is into minus 9 2 into minus 9 is minus 18 equal to y divided by 
here c1 a2 c1 a2 means c1 is minus 9 and here it is 3 minus 9 into 3 is minus 27 and c2 a1 c2 a1 is here 4 into 8 that is minus 4 into 8 that is minus 32 same way we have calculated a1 b2 minus a2 b1 as 16 minus 5 next after calculation x divided by minus 2 equal to y divided by 5 equal to 1 divided by 1 x divided by minus 2 equal to 1 divided by 1 first and third we have taken together just to cross multiply it x into 1 that is equal to x equal to minus 2 into 1 that is equal to minus 2 similarly y by 5 is equal to 1 by 1 third second and third we have taken together then when you cross multiply y into 1 that is y 5 into 1 that is equal to 5. that's all for today and those who are watching these video lessons for the first time you may feel it is difficult to understand sometimes you may feel it is difficult to understand what you're supposed to do is each, no need please avoid watching the end of video at a stretch and watch the video question by question for example if you are watching first question answer just pause the video after watching the first question then again rewind it and watch the first question answer again so that you in the concept will be clear for you once you watch all the questions at a stretch you may not understand what it is explained so if any doubts are there feel free to ask thank you